Right now at 6, a Coral Springs man is behind bars tonight, accused of having sex with a student he met at a church camp. The man met the 13-year-old girl at Church by the Glades in Coral Springs, where he was a youth counselor at the camp. CBS 4's Kerry Cott is live at the Broward Sheriff's Office near Fort Lauderdale with the story. Kerry? Elliot, right now, Sylvester Perone is locked up here in the Broward County Jail on eight counts of sexual battery. Investigators with the Broward Sheriff's Office tell us he played on the emotions of that underage girl during their months-long relationship. Sylvester Perone is accused of sexually battering a 13-year-old girl and violating the trust of an entire church community. The Broward Sheriff's Office says Perone worked as a youth counselor for middle school students at the Church by the Glades in Coral Springs. Investigators say he took advantage of the girl. Over time, he kind of gained her trust. He um, found some vulnerabilities in this middle schooler and took advantage sexually. BSO says Perone engaged in a sexual relationship with the child for five months beginning last September, and the sex acts took place at the church and and the girl's home. BSO says the girl's parents found out what was happening and brought evidence to detectives. BSO says the entire family feels violated. We do believe, you know, that it's a sanctuary. They sent her to a church summer camp and they worshiped at the place where she was violated. We do understand that there is definitely a level of um, mistrust and hurt that goes with that. We reached out to the church by the Glades and they gave us a statement. It reads, the pastors and leaders of church by the Glades were saddened to hear of the alleged criminal and sinful behavior on the part of one of our attendees. Our first and greatest concern is the well-being, healing, and protection of the victim and family. It is our desire, as always, to fully cooperate with the authorities involved in this investigation to see that justice is served. I asked BSO if they believe there are any other victims out there. They indicated to me at this point they believe this is an isolated situation, but they said if anyone has information of other victims, they should contact the Broward Sheriff's Office. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News. Kerry, thank you.